Hey guys, welcome to the Spike Coder. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to integrate PhonePage SDK in your React Native application. So let's get started. Yeah, now let's create a new React Native project. Yep, it's done. Now let's quickly run the project in the simulator. Let's open app.tsx and get rid of all the default code. Now it's time to install some dependencies. So let me close the server and yeah. So now let's go to official documentation right here. So we need to add this dependency. So just copy this and paste in the terminal. And the next thing to install is React Native Base 64. And the next thing is SHA256. So we need to install these dependencies into the project. Yeah, it's done. Now let's run our application. Now you can see it gives an error that will fail with an exception. So to fix this, we need to add some configuration into our Android files. So let's head over to the documentation. And here you can see we need to add this configuration in the project level builder gradle file. Now let's open the builder gradle file in, at the project level, right here this one. And just paste this configuration right here. Now rerun the application. Now it's time to add some configuration for the iOS application. So just open this iOS directory and go to your project folder and open this in for our playlist file. Now you can see. And just go to the documentation and just copy this and paste right here now open this project in your Xcode you need to open this for our playlist file and here you need to add some configuration just right click here and add row and it's gonna be URL types just click on this URL types after that expand this now you are, you will see this item 0 expand this item 0 and URL identifier and right here just paste this com dot phone pay hyphen iOS intent SDK integration and make sure that this is case sensitive now click on this plus button here and just click on this URL schemes so in this URL schemes in the item 0 just type the value iOS intent integration
and done now you can close your xcode now you need to install pods so navigate to the iOS directory and install the pods using the command pod install now you can see here it's installing the phone pay payment and the react native phone pay pg now rerun the application and now let's head over to the documentation and here you can see we need to add some code in this app delegate.mm and right here at the end just paste this code and now save perfect now let's open the app.tsx and now here let's design a simple user interface Now let's rename this app.tsx to app.js to convert this into a javascript file perfect now here we need to import the phone page dk And now let's define a submit handler. And the next thing is we need to initialize the phone page DK. So for that we have a method. So we need to use phone page DK dot in it. And here this init method will accept few arguments those are the environment merchant ID app ID and enable login so let's define the states Now we are using the test credentials so for that we have to pass the sandbox here if you are going live then we have to use the production here so for now this value is gonna be sandbox and we need to use the merchant ID so we, we are on the test mode so we're gonna use the test credentials This is the test merchant ready provided by the phone pay in the documentation. And the next thing app ID uh, is gonna be null for now. And this is gonna be true. And let's pass these arguments through our init method. Environment, merchant ID, app ID, and enable login. Then 
we get a response. Now, after initialization of phone base DK, we need to start the transaction. For that, we need to define some variables like the request body, and we have to generate the payload, and we have to generate the checksum. For that, let's create an object. request body and this is going to be our request body and here we need to have some values those are the merchant id so we can use the merchant id here and the merchant transaction id and we need to generate this merchant transaction id for every single transaction that is done by the user so we'll write a function for generating the transaction id later and the next thing is merchant user id and the amount and this is going to be our data dot amount and the next thing is mobile number callback url and the payment instrument and this is going to be an object which have a type of pay page perfect and now let's generate this merchant transaction id dynamically so for that let's define a function generate transaction id have the prefix and we're gonna pass this merchant prefix first prefix and the next one is we're gonna pass the timestamps and a random number that are generated by this math dot random function now we get the transaction id so let's call this method generate transaction id to generate a unit transaction id after defining the request body we need to encode this request body object into the base64 using the salt keys and we need to generate the checksum so let's define a salt key variable here And the salt index and the payload and this is going to be the JSON dot in the string file to this object we need to convert this into a JSON and we need to encode the payload so for that let's use an object payload main and let's import the base64 from reactor to base 64 yep. and let's call this encode function we need to pass this payload and now this json object will convert into a base 64 now let's define a string and that's gonna be the payload main and this is the endpoints and the 
next thing is the salt key so we'll define the salt key we need to get this from the documentation for the test credentials to generate the checksum we need to convert this into sh8256 and need to add the salt index so for that let's import sh8256 the checksum we need to pass this string and attribute hash then this alt index so now it's time to get the salt key and the salt index so let's head over to the documentation and here you can see a link right here for pg bay api just click on this link And here you can see the sample salt key and the salt index just copy that and paste here and now it's time to start the transaction so we have a method to start the transaction we need to use the phone paste tk dot start the transaction and we get a response here this will accept few arguments and those are the body checksum package name and app schema so for the request body you can you have to pass this payload main which is encoded into a base 64 and the next thing is to so let's pass the checksum variable here and the package name for now i'm gonna leave it uh null and the app name app schema is also gonna be null I'm gonna give a random number because this is in the test mode we aren't live and the next thing is we need to multiply this amount with the hundred save this now let's start the transaction so you can see it's working fine now let's try to pay using the card yep the transaction is done and you can see the status is success let's test this in the android too so let me run this application in the android Yep, it's fine. It's working in Android too. So if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe.